The first nitrogen fixing organelle known to science. Scientists have discovered a species of marine algae that contains an organelle capable of absorbing nitrogen from the atmosphere. Until now, it was believed that only some symbiotic bacteria had this ability. Nitrogen is a nutrient essential for all life on Earth. Despite its presence in the atmosphere, it remains largely inaccessible to many life forms until it is transformed into a more accessible form. There are bacteria that can do this. There are also nitrogen-fixing plants, such as legumes, which obtained this ability through a symbiotic relationship with bacteria living in their roots. But in a recent publication, researchers from the University of Rhode Island, the Institut de Ciencias del Mar in Barcelona, the University of California, Santa Cruz, and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology discovered nitrogen-fixing symbiotic organisms that exhibit organelle-like behaviors. The description and results of the research were published in the journals, Cell, and Science. Scientists believe that the ability of the algae species Braradospira bigelowi to fix nitrogen comes from an endosymbiotic relationship in which a nitrogen-fixing cyanobacteria was absorbed by an ancestral cell of the marine algae. Endosymbiosis is a type of symbiosis in which cells of one organism live and cope perfectly in the cells or tissues of another organism. Researchers believe that in this case, the absorbed bacterium completely gave up its independent life, discarding many of its genes and becoming dependent on single-celled algae. As a result of this process, the prokaryotic cell was engulfed by a eukaryotic cell and evolved into an organelle. Researchers believe that in the entire history of life on Earth, a similar process has happened only a few times. It's very rare for organelles to form from this type of thing. The first time we think this happened, it gave rise to all of complex life. Anything more complicated than a bacterial cell owes its existence to this event, said Tyler Cole of the University of California, Santa Cruz, pointing out that he was referring to the creation of mitochondria. About a billion years ago, this happened again with the chloroplast and that's how we got plants. Cole added. The latest such discovery is the first example of a nitrogen-fixing organelle, which scientists have called a nitroplast. The trail of the unknown organelle was discovered in 1998 by Jonathan Zare from the University of California, Santa Cruz. He found a short DNA sequence in seawater in the Pacific Ocean, possibly from an unknown nitrogen-fixing cyanobacteria. Zare and colleagues spent years searching for the mysterious organism, which they named UCYNA. At the same time, Kiyoko Hagino from Kochi University in Japan was trying to grow marine algae in the laboratory. It didn't go very well, and it took nearly a decade before she succeeded. The algae of interest to Hagino were found to host UCYNA. Thanks to Hagino's work, scientists had an algae culture that could be studied in detail. For years, scientists considered UCYNA to be an endosymbiont closely related to algae. However, 
Recent work suggests that UCYNA has co-evolved with its host and now meets the criteria for an organelle. Scientists have shown that the growth of the host cell and UCYNA is controlled by nutrient exchange. Their metabolisms are interconnected. This synchronization of growth rates has caused researchers to wonder. Exactly the same thing happens with organelles. If you look at mitochondria and chloroplast, it's the same thing. They scale with the cell, Zare said. Studies have shown that UCYNA imports proteins from host cells. That's one of the hallmarks of something going from an endosymbiont to an organelle, Zare said. They start shedding pieces of DNA, their genomes become smaller and smaller, and they start to depend on the mother cell to transport gene products or the protein itself into the cell, he added. Cole compared the proteins found in isolated UCYNA to those found in the entire host cell. He discovered that the host cell produces proteins and tags them with a specific sequence of amino acids that tells them to be sent to the nitroplast. The nitroplast then imports the proteins and uses them. Moreover, the researchers also showed that UCYNA replicates synchronously with the algal cell and is inherited like other organelles. The analysis results indicate that UCYNA has transcended the role of a symbiont. Mitochondria and chloroplasts evolved billions of years ago, but as for the nitroplast, researchers say it evolved about 100 million years ago. The production of nitrogen fertilizers enabled the development of agriculture and significantly improved global food production. But the production of fertilizers emits huge amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, about 1.4%. World emissions come from this process. This system provides new insights into nitrogen fixation and may provide clues as to how such an organelle could be incorporated into crop plants, Cole said. However, many questions about UCYNA and its hosts remain unanswered. Scientists plan further research to better understand how UCYNA and algae work and to investigate different strains of algae.